Ukrainian medical professionals are becoming some of the most skilled and knowledgeable in combat medicine. The expertise, however, comes at a price. When we work on a wound and in an operation room, we just concentrate it and do what we must do. After work, we are thinking about different stuff. Uh, it, then we have a sad emotions, but now we must do and keep calm. Dr. Ihor Lashkin is good at keeping calm. Global News was granted access to a military hospital in the Kyiv region and observe the traumatologist working to repair a fractured tibia. It's, a, it's a not a big injury, actually. Shrapnel wounds, limbs torn apart by mines, organs damaged by bullets. Staff here have seen it all. The staff in this facility say they are working around the clock. If they have a couple of minutes, they sit down, get some food, and then they're back at it. Three operations were simultaneously underway when we were on site. Nurses and medical staff ping-ponged from supply rooms into the operating areas. Directions shouted and different songs could be heard coming from small speakers. A well-choreographed dance in a small space. It's very great uh, honest uh, to uh, use my uh, knowledge uh, of uh, help our uh, guys. Most of the patients here are Ukrainian soldiers with catastrophic injuries, but there are also doctors injured while working near the front lines. We were told the man who has rushed past our camera on the stretcher is a doctor who lost both legs. We're not revealing the location of this facility or showing any identifying markers. Too often they've become targets. The World Health Organization verified more than 1,000 attacks on healthcare facilities since Russia's full invasion began. Some days, Dr. Loshkin performs 10 operations. Other days, he tackles just one complex case. We can do one surgery from uh, 8 a.m. to 5 a.m. <laughs> all day, all night, yeah. So you just, you just keep going? Uh-huh. Away from the busy OR, we meet Stepan Barabash. He's here getting follow-up care for his back and arm after spending weeks in a different hospital in the southeast. The 47-year-old was injured during a mortar attack in Bakhmut, the location of one of the longest and bloodiest battles of the war. It's especially scary at night during shelling, he says. They use incendiary shells. Everything glows, and there's a feeling that you are in hell. Everything, everywhere, burns. For most who end up here, the priority is returning to the battlefield, not rest and recovery. The medical teams stitching them back together are working for the benefit of their patient, but also their country. Crystal Gamansing, Global News, Kyiv Region, Ukraine.